Okay, so we've got to solve this quadratic inequality x squared plus 3x minus 4 is greater than 0. Now the first thing you've got to do is factorise it and assuming it does factorise and this one does it will be two brackets okay, and we'll have an x and an x and there will be a 4 and a 1 and this would be a plus 4 to give 4x and this would be a minus 1 to give minus 1x making the 3x in the middle and 4 times minus 1 is the negative 4 on the end. Don't forget to put the inequality sign greater than 0. Okay now the next thing where I find a lot of people make mistakes is that they immediately treat this like it were a quadratic equation and they want to say x plus 4 is greater than 0 or x minus 1 is greater than 0 and if you did do this it would be totally wrong okay so I don't want you to do that okay because these answers would lead to x is greater than minus 4 or x is greater than 1 and you'll find that these are not the right answers. Okay, so don't do this. So we'll rub this out. Okay, let's rub it out. Okay, so what do we do? Well, we have to find something which is called the critical values. And the critical values are the values of x where this particular function here would equal zero. So let's put down here for the critical values the critical values okay we have that x plus 4 would equal 0 or the factor x minus 1 would equal 0 and if we put that down this would lead to x equals minus 4 or x equals 1 what we now have to do is sketch the graph of, let's just do it over here, sketch the graph of y equals, and we look at y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. So that's x squared plus 3x minus 4. And we factorise that, and in factorising we found the critical values where the y value here would be equal to 0. And this is the point where this graph would cross the x-axis. So if I mark in x is negative 4, let's say there, and x is 1, it's only a sketch so it doesn't have to be that accurate. And then if we sketch in the graph of y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4, it's a positive x squared term, so it's going to be a u-shaped graph. Okay, so if we draw that in, something like this, down there and back up, okay, through the 1, then what we're looking for is the values of y, that's this quantity here, which are greater than 0. Okay, so where is y greater than 0? Well, y is greater than 0 for this stretch of the curve from more than 1 and for the stretch of the curve here where x is less than minus 4 in that direction. So I'm looking then at this part of the curve up through there and this part of the curve up through there. And so this part is when x is greater than 1 and this part is when x is less than minus 4. So from the graph, if I put therefore from the graph, okay, what we see is that x has to be any value less than minus 4 or x has to be any value more than 1. Okay?